Now to a crime unsolved. A Washington Heights couple wants to know who killed their 17-year-old son. He was shot and killed while riding a motorized bike last Wednesday. His father tells CBS2 Sade Gray about the moment he knew something was wrong. He's just the best friend I, I have. A father's only son, Maurice Edwards' best friend, 17-year-old Kamari Edwards, was shot and killed last week. I have to stay strong. That's what he want. November 16th in the Washington Heights neighborhood, Edwards says he and his son were working on two mini bikes, one for him, one for his son. He put the springs in and put the jets in and tuned it and said, Dad, he wanted to take it for a test ride when we were done. Initially, he said no, but since his son put the bike together on his own, he let him go out. When Edwards stepped outside, he was expecting to hear this sound. But all he heard was silence, so he got in his truck and started looking for him. And I figured my son would be coming from one of these directions. I sat here for a second, I looked at the police cars, and I said, Go to the main block that I know he uh, he ride on because there's no speed bumps. They, they just paved the road. Edward says after looking for his son in the truck, he saw crime scene tape near 91st and Wallace. Edwards ran back home to get his wife, Keisha Edwards. Something that no parent wants to do. And then maybe we'll know the whole truth. I don't know. Maurice and Keisha homeschooled their son, who also went to church at least three times a week. He baptized kids his age, you know, changed their lives. It seems like a tragedy, but all I can hold on to is his life. He will be missed, but not forgotten, I'll tell you that. Reporting in Washington Heights, Sharday Gray, CBS 2 News. So far, no arrests in that case. The family has set up a GoFundMe account to pay for his funeral. We have a link on our website, cbschicago.com.